Yeah, yeah, yeah. Net, net is really strong versus him, but uh, the hero does come online a little bit faster than... Limited on mana top. Not going to get a courier snipe there. Looks like OG managed to micro everything away, but again, stacking up that wave. Mid lane? As mid, mid, oh, mid lane, yeah. There's a Fisher in with a fade bot there. Topson's down. He's there. While mid lane Zayat and no one making a move on. Topson again. Rubik, even under his tier 1 tower, gonna get Sonic waved. What can he do and turn around a dagger? Steals a Sonic wave, throws it under no one. Topson still alive somehow, and no one taking that final tower hit. Will keep himself up in the running, but a one foot like a creep away from hitting six and having that yeah. lasso ready. Topson. They're guarding the DD rune, and Topson's been sandwiched in. My goodness. Batrider, Earthshaker, Queen of Pain. Topson's down again. If it's triangle, so roar. Yeah, onto the Enchantress. They're going for solo. They think it's an easy kill, but they might be mistaken. Resolution now, the target of choice is Sumail shreds him limb from limb and solo. Poor Enchantress. Hunted by the Feral. is on top of the charts, but that's where it's a bit lower than. Catch. They want Sumail. Enchant Totem's there, and they've got this stun over on the Lycan. Great Fisher catches both of OG's heroes. And Lycan, he's been left all on his lonesome. A Fisher turn around from Topson now and lifts up the Queen of Pain, dragged into the summons, but she still is able to blink and. Yeah, he's going to get caught out here. He's blocked in. Necro units plus Saxa, Vendetta, Invis, hiding away. I don't know if he even needed to come out of that one. But someone's were dealing with him perfectly fine. And Resolution has walked too far forward. He's been caught out completely. Sonic Wave, it looked pretty, but it didn't do blood. Untouchable, untouchable stopped working. Stop playing mid one. Is he going to be the sacrifice here? Saxa's TP to try and help. He might get the Bat Rider, you know. Resolution, one for one there is no one. The Sonic Wave takes down the Knicks at long last. No one getting himself his fifth kill of the game. Queen of Pain, 5-0-1. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's potentially got no tail here. He goes for it. A black hole will take down Zayat. Does get found by no one's Queen of Pain, though, but that is so much space bought here. Naga, so this is a huge power spec for him if they can wait the ages out. But the stun's on Terezo. He's going to get over the Fisher just barely so the Lycan can't chase a great Sonic Wave. Pushes OG all back, but the stun's. Malf has the blink echo. Zayas there. Ooh. Gets onto three. Lift up, drag back. Let's see if Queen of Pain can do the job because Naga Siren, she's ready to fight. No one's in the back lines. Finds mid one as the Sumail Lycan does respawn, but he's left all alone. It's a 1v4. Sumail used up. Cancel the TP. And VP under their tier three. Still alive somehow. <laughs> Completely caught off guard. Trying to find solo top, gets a sentry down so it allows him to heal. Lasso onto mid one as a black hole. Oh, they've caught a couple in the back, but the Fisher's there. Stopping No Tail in his track, so they Yules up onto the Rubik. And Topson's in trouble. Lycan shapes his forward, kills off Rezo. But this Naga Siren, she is absolutely dominating him. Sumail's gonna run away, that's a sad little puppy as mid one returns, coming back in, looking for LTW, but now he's stuck, trapped inside on Zayat, as the Queen of Pain has found the like, and an OG are falling apart. In that, you know, kind of dead lane area, just pushing tier two, it's an enchantress that you don't want to go for. Do you have Queen the damage Pain, here? Stun from Saxa. Do they have the stuns? Song of the Sirens there from RTW, and it says absolutely oh. not. The blink out from the Queen of Pain, actually spotting out No-Tail and mid one. Lasso there, Enigma caught with a three-man Sonic Wave. What can Thompson do? He's going to try and steal something back, but he's got to retreat. Virtus Pro are here en masse with the numbers. The turnaround Sonic Wave pushes the resolution away, but I think Thompson's still going to get chased down. Little by little, tick down and to his grave as no one's there. But Solo to secure it. No one. Mid one leading the charge. They found resolution there with the carapace, and in comes oh, the no. blink. Black hole for two oh, illusions. No. no tails whiffed it. Unfortunate for him as no one jumps in with his BKB whipping away at the back of no tails head. Enigma's about to fall as Zayat. He wants to continue because well, Lasso there on the like and trying to give up LTW a bit of space. Good Fisher, but it's not going to block them back. So Naga dead. OG in a great spot now. They can chase for more hunting targets on their way through. Zayat. I don't know if he can get out of this one. A blink in a second. The fade bot can. Cancels it again. Sanks are lining up a mana burn, and Zayat is found by the wolves. What's to is that midnight pulse? It's black hole. <laughs> oh, Topson. Also there. Resolution dragging Topson into the river. Fisher does block them out as the echo slam there catching like and oh it's sumail that's who they're going for this fight split three ways topson down as no one jumping in the sonic wave not quite catching the dog as he sprints back to safety og losing the rubik his vp resolution did drop in all of that 
Zayats does have a blink here if he wants to go chasing with no one and LTW at the ready. They're going to go high ground in blind, Solo leading the charge. And mid one, a freebie here for Virtus Pro on the dire side of the map. That's why Virtus Pro. Mm -hmm. Exactly. They're coming with a blink last time. Resolution straight onto mid one, half HP and he's gone. Destroyed by VP, ticking down a little bit there with the Firefly going, Asumail sprinting on towards the Batrider, slowed, doesn't quite get down to the low ground, nearly had it with a four staff as Naga splits out the illusions, trying to give chase it, but a two-man black hole from No Tail, beautiful stuff with the chain stones from Saxa, Midnight Pulse, it is there, but the BKB from No One gives him the space he needs and pushes back OG, still going to drop though when losing that beyond godlike streak as they do echo slam the rubik topson he's getting annihilated here and there you go the smoke is there and look at solo he's the only one not smoked uh, fuels topson gonna steal up the blink as they bkb and jump forward with rezo dragging mid one yet again focusing beastmaster and the blink echo expended here to take down both og's nyx and beastmaster no tail zayat just a cheeky little fisher there Roll four. Death forward can they take down this Naga Siren? They've mana burnt her and they've jumped in with an Abyssal Blade of Lycan. No tail. Black Hole cancelled immediately by the Yule Scepter. Oh, that's a disaster for OG. Naga can now stand the ground and fight a little bit. Has the backing of the Enchantress heal as Fishers line up left and right. No one jumps in and he's going to clear up house. Two down again as OG. They have tail between legs. They are hurted. Wounded. Licking their wounds right now as it doesn't look good. That's pretty huge. I mean, uh, there's nothing to stop it, right? And they lasso the next. VP make the first move. BKB Batrider gives him the perfect safety net to take the Aegis out of the hands of Nyx Assassin, reclaiming what was rightfully theirs. And Carapace, maybe a little bit of time here for Sumail to jump in with the Abyssal Blade. Focusing forward, No Tail with a black hole, catching RTW. It's a lot of damage. The Sonic Wave coming in again as no one looks to clear up a couple, but. The Naga's down and the chase from OG moves forward. Queen of Pain bashed up. Sumail wants this one, but it's an awfully difficult kill to grab. So I believe it's going to be Solo that they'll hunt down successfully. And maybe Zayat, as the Earthshaker is still getting hounded by the wolf. It's understandable. Top lane, Topson. Yeah, no one's straight in there. Topson feared up. And they've got the lasso from Batrider, dragging him around into the flames. Topson... Annihilated as they get the fear to stop any TP out from Saxon. He might get a bounty rune. He's pushed back by the flame break. Go on, Saxon. No, the bounty rune is taken by Rezo. Doesn't even get that as a consolation prize. And Nick's assassin with the Rubik dead for o It feels like they know where he's coming from. So Samael making this initial move, jumping straight forward towards that Batrider, but Rezo gets the BKB and the runaway, they ensnare the like and the black hole's there. No tail finds the Naga, that's the one target he needs to get. The Sonic Wave, the pushback, Naga's still alive, four staffed away and the Fisher will block them out with a great two-man Echo Slam. Zayat has saved the day for ILTW to turn around and now the Gs have got to be coming because OG, they've got nothing left in the yeah, tank. Quick the pain is going to find no tail and Enigma. Will be the fifth and final kill of this game as Virtus Pro take game one. Dive in and out. They've got Doppelganger, they've got Remnants, Disruption, Winter's Curse, the, the pit from Underlord. Is it though? I was uh, uh, I was having a bit of fun with that one. Top lane, Zayats is being chased. Sumail and No Tail don't have much mana. So, oh, No Tail's going for the courier snipe. Takes down Rezo's courier. Not. We're gonna, oh, one more stack of poison, maybe? Is that, is that the one one coming? More? It looks like he's gonna get popped and first blood. One, gonna clear up some stacks. And Topson giving a little bit of breathing room. And there's Ember Spirit. He's gonna be racing up that net worth board now. Bottom lane. Now trying to make a play onto mid one. It looks like they'll find RTW with that shackle and power shot, though. Solo being handled by the boars and Saxon is just going to win run forward mid one sticking around on 100 hp he wants xp gimme 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 i'm not sure i think it's a really good spirit vessel game it's on him though maybe he'll switch his things up a little bit but it's a really really good vessel game and no one else on his team wants to buy it Well, oh, they're coming in top they ink swelled the wolf to start on rezo but no one arriving now and sumail is being picked off by the hasted ember spirit there might be a bonus kill over towards the back as they disrupt up no tail a poor little Grimstroke. Look at the damage from Rezo. He's got 100. Ember Spirit is ready. He's invis and he spots no tail. Yeah, it looks like it might be a simple one here. I don't know if OG have a response. He's just trying to get as many spells out as he can, no tail. One pop by no one. Looks like he doesn't want to expend remnants. And there goes the pop onto the Grimstroke. What's about OG shift. 
Two cool. Oh, wait, where, where, where is Saxon? What's he doing? What is he doing? Three stacks of poison. Windrun gonna get mitigated there by the bubble. Shackle shot and power shot. Not gonna do a whole hell of a lot. Zaya. Finish him off. VP! Respond! He's diving in tier three. Team? Team? Where are you? Oh, you're killing one. You're killing die. He's diving tier fours. Superman's gonna die to towers. <laughs> what is that? Some space. I just need a bit of room. Some male obliges. Down south, no one. About a third of his HP remains, but a great Winter's Curse there. Solo just catching Saxa on the very edge of it. To bring mid one low, but not finished off just yet. The final slide of Fist will take him down. As the ink swell with a stroke of fate, but that's a lot of damage from Zayat. A no one trying to kill the Helm Creep. He's going to get silenced and stunned. Thanks to No-Tell here with the Ink Spell, with a roar from mid one, Sumail Shapeshift allows him to get in on top of Ember Spirit. And now chasing Solo over the trees, he's flying over the canopy. He does get the Winter's Curse out here, and it looks like No-Tell is going to drop very low. No finishing killing blow, though. And Solo gets scouted, power shot through the trees. And there's the Winter Wyvern getting picked off, and OG. Playing versus Zads with Disruption, with Purge. Atos is being built. I went to Wyvern. Winter's Curse. Oh my god, that was so close. Sumil's still going to send his little summons after her. Wyvern down, and now a silent stun. They've stomped for the centaur. The chain stuns are beautiful. OG, excellent execution there. As up towards top. Looks like Zayat's also going to fall as Topson goes wild onto Rezo. Not enough damage to bring down the big boy. Yeah, but OG's a great them turn apart, of right? pace there. They're still going for Rezo. There we go. I'm not really in fighting shape, it feels like. As mid lane, Sumail being parted. As he does get cursed up and killed off by his necro units. Solo the trade back there as OG continuing to move forward. Shackle shot won't latch to anything. Zayat. That Centaur, Inkswell, not connecting thanks to the disruption, but no tails here with Topson. Stomp him up and a double kill for more. There's a soul bind. Oh, it's on a no one, but there's no one to actually grab and latch him to. So a quick little sleight of fist as they turn to focus resolution. Shackle shot yet again. Not quite on the mark, but it still slows down the retreat as they no swing one. back with the E blade. No one just hands them a kill on silver platter. See, to join these fights, uh, should be told, mid lane, Rezo. Should be told, Rezo is about to die again. Absolutely shredded. Topson is out of mana right now, trying to shift into that strength, but. This, this Pit of Malice is causing him a lot of problems. Stuck in there for quite some time, and the Phantom Lancer will claim his life. It gives it over to Zayat, as now the oh. walls come in with an ink spell chasing onto Solo. He's got Winter's Curse, but he's been stunned and silenced. He can't get a single spell off. Oh, the PL. He's been shackled up, and the power shot from Saxa. OG clearing through four as no one. Last man standing. He's been hounded here. Remnant off to the northwest side. The wolf is coming with Inkswell. I don't think it will be there. They have a slight to try and get away, but they do. They slow down no one who is now completely zip on mana. And Sumail, who was diving tier fours a few minutes ago, this is one he really desperately wants, but he doesn't have the movement speed for it. Resolution puts his body in the lines. Get down, Mr. President. I'm going to save you. But in the meanwhile, he's going to be shredded by OG. Let's see if they can actually get anything done as Roshan falls, tops and grabs Aegis. They do have a curse near the pit. Well, it's not going to finish anyone off. Sansa's is still up and running, and it's Morphling giving chase. Topson, he's got the E-play strike onto Wyvern, and down Solo goes. Slight chains there. No one's caught. No escape. No retreat. But I'm just not quite sure he's going to have the time. Catching top lane. Disruption into pit. They found mid one. Winter's Curse as well. Don't mind if I do. Solo's there with an ultimate and a pick off onto mid one. So delaying the push from OG. Topson's Topson. in the base, though. Not entirely sure what his plan is, but he feels invincible right now, and he might just be able to take down Solo. Nice little purge, though. Can Topson get out? the poison snacks, waveform down to the low ground, still holding Aegis, don't forget. 8-1 charges and the ability to morph into strength, but Aegis popped. While bottom lane, oh, LTW's been shackle shotted up. Now back to Morphling, as he's still caught up in the root of the pit. Topson waveforms over the top, trying. Morphling, Windranger, anyone. They don't need to be together as five, four, three. They don't need to make gank squads. They can just be on the map, buddy system it up. As Topson back into Ember Spirit mode, looking to blow up no one. And he does just that with a long range power shot. Saxa helps to secure it. And it feels like game two is just over.
Thompson. And Thompson looks very angry after that first match in his Ruby game. <laughs> Comes back with this morphing and just dominates them. We might be in a little bit of trouble now. Wand, Manta, Strength Morph there, Toxin half HP, the chase not good enough by VP, and Sumail has found Zayat in the back lines. Unlord and a spot bother too, as Wyvern killed off by the Necro units, and the Winter's Curse does nothing, so GG is called. You have the Toxin morphing, you have Sumail that can go for a variety of build if he goes mid lane. So far, TA is doing really, really well. Oh. Oops. Oops. I die as well. Let's see. And three stacks of fury swipes. No tail. A couple of seconds for that stroke of fate, but it's just a little. Has the book for uh, this lane becomes scary for OG too. Solo again, kind of using this disruption aggressively to chip away at people, and a great slight change from RTW. It's a lot of damage onto OG, but the dive is there. Mid one under tower. Spectacular start as down bottom, mid one, very low, still gonna go and give chase to RTW, he loses his life first, and now a slide of fist with the Ember Spirit having no regen left. Salve there, given over to him though, and now Sax is the one in trouble. Mail has fallen as well, while Sax is still dancing through the trees. Solo, what's he got? Disruption in a second, they've got the slight chains holding disruption for the very last second. Try and make sure they claim this kill. A few more hits will do the trick. So much damage. He has plus 21 at this point. Yeah, it's rare we see so much aggression on both side lanes at once. There's Rezo. He will be pain with his life this time. Somehow still there dies. Inkswell and still dies to the Rezo illusion with Zayat. You said it. There's Alpha Wolf right now. It's doing so much work. It's a double kill for Doom. Gonna start double jungling in a second. And here comes yet another dive under tower though. No tail. Loses half of his Zayat HP. Zayat's a couple of stick charges, but the Fury Swipes are dangerous. And Rezo's been left to his own devices now. Quick little Phantom's Embrace resolution. This will be the end of him, I think. A nice little stun will stop the advance of Samel, but he's got another Earth Shock, and that Stroke of Fate slows him. Man, this might be a full turnaround on the top. Yeah, it looks like it. Already early aggression. Samel's lost a lot of his HP, and with Inkswell not landing, it's dangerous now for OG. Wand is forced out, but at least now with Saxa and No-Tail clearing through the Doom, a trade back for resolution. Wonderful. Ember sending out that defensive remnant. I don't know if it will save him. Great little slight dodge of that rolling thunder. And RTW has carved himself a path into the trees and now off to the west, but slowed by Saxa. In comes mid one. Sumail, No-Tail, everyone here from OG. Disruption buys a second of time, but it's not enough to keep the Ember alive. Now Zion in onto mid one. He's got no mana left. 11 1 charges, but Swashbuckle down for five seconds. And TA with the traps will slow him down. Mid one. Ooh, the wand into Swashbuckle. He's not going to get away from the final projectile flying they, through the air. Did they forget about Sumail? It looks like they didn't, but he's going so Solo. deep into the trees. Solo dodging away from all those strokes of fate. The no tail is fake pumping. And there's the kill. Spree for no tail. And Sumail still in the trees, like you're saying. He's been left completely alone. Yeah, he managed to get out. In the forest. Oh, hello. No tail's been found by Amber Spirit. No, not going to get denied by creeps. Nice. You know, teams are pretty evenly matched. The drafts are coming to fruition. And everyone is just trying to find that little edge. Smoke into smoke into smoke into kill onto Rezo. OG will get the upper hand. The past three or four minutes has really just been chain smoking to get that little bit of momentum going. As Sumail, low HP. I'll tell you, I don't know if he's meant to do that. I think he's messed up his remnants a bit there and he'll pay for it. Samel still Even alive, there. cutting through trees. Quelling Blade again? No, not quite. Hellbear Smasher there to secure him up. And Shadow Demon left to his own devices. He will be sacrificed here by VP. Well, TA is no here. No one has been. That's a big Melt Strike and a Side Blade hit. Looking for no tail. Two hits. How many? Is it going to be enough? Not quite. Needed three. Actually, have a solid team fight. In comes mid one. Rolling Thunder with the Ink Spell. Just about gets the double connection. Now trying to get himself out of there though, as mid one swashbuckles back to high ground. No one's ready waiting for him though, into the waiting arms of the TA as they soul bind her up with the Ember Spirit. Chase is on, VP. They want additional targets. Ink swell again from No Tail, but the chains from RTW will connect and keep the Grimstroke held in place. But the chase, where is it? Mel Strike, final touch, no one. Getting ticked down, the miss uphill, now the rolling thunder, no one has to give up on the kill while the E-bladed after strike, on to Solo, trying to disrupt the Morphling, still E-bladed up, but now they've got the Doom coming in with no one focusing forward, but the rolling thunder's causing havoc, Rezo in from the back as the Soulbind's there, somehow up on the high ground, 
Doom, he does fall down. Now Sumel claps himself up there, but there's a high ground observer water. <laughs> you see the bear and rages up. Come at me! Destroy! No, I'm gonna jump down. I want out of here. Mel strikes galore from no one, clearing up some mail as the Rezo bend. With RCW swapping back and forth and earning up, but Thompson forced the waveform back in, but this is gonna open him up now. As the Ember Spirit still has some spells up his sleeve, ink swell onto Thompson, but he's getting waveformed away from. Aegis still in the hands of TA, means she has that second life as the waveform again. Thompson doesn't want to retreat, he wants to go in, he wants kills, and Solar will give him one, but has this left Thompson isolated. Push back with the strength, the damage strike, and there it is. And now Morphling is slipping in from the left hand side. No Smell's one. there. They will be able to Inkswell stun him, and this might be the two deaths of the TA, but VP they're coming through to try and force the fight. Soulbind onto Ember and Doom, the TA still up and running. There's a half of HP gone as she refracts up, but that's obliteration as no one falls. Rezo with Zayat and LTW, how much damage can they do because Thompson is shredding them? Little by little, the damage from the Morphling comes through, and a triple kill for you! Morphling, he wants more! Ultra kill for Thompson, where is it? It's an Inkswell steal from No Tail! And they now know they're fighting into this TA who has no Aegis. Swashbuckle forward with the Ink Swell. Disruption does buy time for Rezo. Virtus Pro they want in. Slight chains onto two. They've doomed up mid one now, so no rolling thunder. And that was the end of the Pangolier, but Thompson is in the back lines, dominating VP, chasing the TA. Have they got reveal? They do. They see the TA. No one's down. Remnant in from RTW, but what's he got left? 21 charges. Slight? No. He can't cast spells because he's silenced. He's dead. And Topson Double showed damage. in that mid lane. Mm -hmm. He is holding that DD. Blink Stomp into the Doom. What's the saving grace here? OG Glimmer Cape him. The sentries drop just in time to find the pickoff onto the Morphling. Now OG full retreat. TP top, TP base, TP home. Get out of there. But disruption and the slight change. Catching No Tail and mid one. Virtus Pro coming out of the gates. Three kills in a row. Very nicely done. Ready. Sacks are there. Glimmer Cape in. Trying to bounce herself back to high ground, but the two man chains into the blink stomp, swap back, and no one focusing inch. While Samel gets used up during that enrage, trying to waste as much of the duration as possible, and VP do get a solo kill on the back, thanks to Thompson, rolling Thunder there, catching Ember Spirit out. Where's the chain stun though? RTW reminiscing towards high ground, but swashbuckling forward is Minwon's Pango, allowing Thompson to. Oh no, he doesn't get the chain. Just slide a fist into Adapter Strike, and that'll. Just so long as more. this fight exactly doesn't brew into something deeper. Topson turns into Doom, Scorched Earth, and sprinting around. Finds Solo in the tree line as mid one. Rolling through Virtus Pro. So it is a one for one. OG still in this you know position of power, right? They're on the radiant side of the map. They've got three lanes to farm out, and they're just gonna keep giving chase. Morphling's there, he's one versus four, and he's being taken down. Aegis gone. But in comes Sumail, he's not played Dota 2 for the past 15 minutes, he's been farming with his Battle Fury, but he's ready to battle now. As Thompson did get the E-Blade in onto Zayat, he's Ghost Scepter and still falling reasonably quickly. As Ember Spirit, with the help of the swap, Doom on the morph, still going, ticking down, Silence. but he glimp caves and gets away. Sumail is now 1v2, but a triple for no one, gets the TA back in. He's being aimed by no one, that will give them that extra control, most importantly that extra an instant control versus the morphing. You can jump and hex him before he morphs. Solo being annihilated. He might set up something here on the Topson though. Swap back with a magic missile. Triple remnant. Topson stomped, stunned, infernal bladed, and does drop. Dead for 80 as mid one's rolling thunder comes just a fraction of a second too late. And VP looking for a little bit more. Can mid one get himself and bounce out of this dangerous spot? Swashbuckle down south, but no one. And Zayat, they're here with a minus armor and the damage to clear through it. I'm wondering how fast. Oh, hello, Hex, with a swap. And the minus armor does get attribute shift off, but he's been doomed and Thompson, he is gone. Immediate buyback from the Morphling now as they turn onto mid one. Quickly dispatched with a Pangolier. Rolling Thunder will not come out. Solo holding high ground, self disrupts. As OG turned to face up RTW, Yules into the air, he's got slight chains and a remnant to dodge to. It looks like he'll be safe for now as a soul bind connects him to the ventral to the TA, but a stomp from Zayat clears through Thompson, and that's the dieback of Morphling. OG have been shredded by VP, sudden turning of the tables, and Sax is about to lose his life as well. Purge slowed, the trap is there, and a bow for tier fours and thrown. Exactly with another minute with no Morphling, they know they can do it. The swap hex again. 
claiming the bounty, forcing buybacks. Sumail has to return to the battlefield now. Resolution taking a pounding from Saxa. But what can Sumail do? Lit like, literally, what can he do? You've got Rolling Thunder going to take there. Mid one is annihilated. So close to death. Kept alive with the Greaves and the one charges. Will be able to roll back in as they find the Vengeful Spirit. Now the Shadow Demon stunned and controlling up RTW as well. This Rolling Thunder's doing good work. RTW's in a little bit of trouble, but no one is not. That's the difference maker. TA is in your back lines, picking off hero after hero, and they're diving behind the Ancient. That is game. game. That's game right there. What just happened? Oh. <laughs> I, I was excited to cast this series, but my god, get, 